Good evening. I'm Ivory Hacker in for Tom Ziska. Deputies arresting more than a dozen people in Harris County today for animal cruelty charges. This part of an operation dubbed Don't Be Cruel. And authorities say they have outstanding warrants for more. Our Maria Salazar joins us live in studio with the message they want to send. Maria. That's right. Harris County Constable Alan Rosen says those who have warrants have been notified and they have until Friday to turn themselves in. More than a dozen arrests involving hundreds of abused animals. I'm not going to allow somebody to hurt an animal, nor will the people standing behind me. Harris County Constable. Constable Alan Rosen for Precinct 1 says the operation dubbed Don't Be Cruel was to go after those with outstanding warrants, including Edmund Megdal, who, Rosen says, had more than 230 animals on his property, including these turtles. And they were living in deplorable conditions. Fox 26 went to his home for a statement. Someone was inside but didn't answer the door. Rosen also mentioned Joanna Williams, who had a dog that was severely emaciated. And then there's the this case. Tony Carl Don, Carol Don, he surrendered. His case involved him video slamming a dog on the ground hard, which of course caused the animal to have fractured legs. Rosen says those who abuse animals often eventually hurt people. We want those that are going to hurt animals to know that you're not going to get away with it. We're going to come out. We're going to arrest you. Don't think you're going to get away with it. Rosen hopes this will encourage people to report animal abuse. The only way we're going to be able to solve this problem is by getting, you know, everyday citizens to be involved in reporting animal cruelty cases. And if you suspect animal, animal, abuse, animal abuse, you can call the Animal Cruelty Tip Line. It's a number you see on your screen right now. It's 832-927-1659. And in just a little bit, we'll post that number as well on fox26houston.com. Live in the studio, Maria Salazar, Fox 26 News.